Beyonce appeared to shrugging off controversy from her recent campaign with Tiffany and Company, as she took to Instagram over the weekend to post a caption-free series of images. The former Destiny's Child star looked stunning in the shots, wearing a figure-hugging black dress, but stayed silent on the post despite recent reports she was disappointed and angry at the luxury jeweler. The singer, 39, was out with husband Jay-Z on Friday in New York, to celebrate the 18th anniversary of the rap mogul's 4040 Club. Beyoncé wore the famed 128. 54 karat Tiffany Diamond, in a photo shoot with her husband, which debuted last week, becoming just the fourth female, and the first black woman, to ever wear the gem. However the chart topper and the luxury jewelry brand have come under furious fire over the decision to showcase the controversial diamond, with many social media users calling attention to its contentious history and the circumstances under which it was mined. The diamond was discovered in a colonial mine in Kimberley, South Africa, in 1877, at a time when the country, and its mines, were under British colonial rule, and when predominantly black migrant workers were subjected to horrific conditions while receiving poultry, and sometimes no, pay in return. According to a source close to Beyoncé, the singer was unaware of the diamond's controversial history, and has been left outraged over the fact that she was not given more information about the gem's background. Beyoncé is aware of the criticism and is disappointed and angry that she wasn't made aware of questions about its history, an unnamed insider told The Sun. She thought that every final detail had been vetted, but now she realizes that the diamond itself was overlooked. Mail Online has contacted representatives for Beyoncé and Tiffany and & Company. For comment, the Tiffany diamond at the center of the backlash was dug from the De Beers Kimberley mine in colonial South Africa in 1877 when black laborers were forced to work in horrendous conditions for minuscule pay. The work was dangerous and unhealthy, with workers forced to work in cramped conditions, often causing fatal accidents. Conditions outside of the mine were no better, with the housing for the workers featuring no natural water or waste disposal, with 1,144 dying from a range of illnesses including pneumonia and scurvy between 1897 and 1899 alone. Traditionally, a blood diamond, also known as a conflict diamond, is any gem that has been mined and sold in order to fund military action against a government, as defined by the United Nations. However, the term has also been applied to rough gems that were mined by people who were subjected to the kinds of conditions that Kimberley miners suffered during the 1870s, as with the Tiffany diamond that Beyoncé modeled in her campaign. The diamond's history has prompted furious backlash against the singer and the jeweler, with many social media users voicing outrage that the diamond is still being showcased, particularly by a woman of color who has been so outspoken against racism. I had to process Jay-Z and Beyonce's Tiffany's campaign for just a minute before saying anything but how did no one see that the whole first black woman marketing angle on this is not doing what they think it's doing when that ST is a literal blood diamond? One furious Twitter user wrote. Another added, not you celebrating the fact Beyonce is the first black woman to wear a Tiffany blood diamond following in the footsteps of Audrey Hepburn and Lady Gaga. Spotlight, the singer has faced furious backlash for wearing the gem, which was found in the Kimberley Mines in South Africa in 1877, when workers were subjected to horrific conditions that Rock needs to left alone in a museum explaining its history while paying ongoing reparations, not paraded around. Although Beyoncé has yet to publicly comment on the furious controversy surrounding her new Tiffany campaign, her mother, Dina Knowles, took to Instagram on Thursday night to fire back at her critics, branding them hypocritical. 
How many of you socially conscious activists tests, own diamonds? She questioned. I thought so. Well guess what did you go to try to check to see where the diamond came from? Probably not. She added, so when you guys get engaged you won't have a diamond you gonna put on a sterling silver band and you better check out where it came from and the origin of where it came from and why you added check out the calls for the leather that you wear, because they made it came from another country to ban and not buy diamonds right because you're righteous.